So there are many traits for which we do not have any biomarkers. And one of the use, potential utilities of polygenic risk scores is to act like a biomarker. We can take an individual who may not be showing symptoms of a disorder and we can test and predict their liability for developing the disorder. It can be useful um, as a predictor uh, when there's uh, little information about family history. It is useful because it differentiates between brothers and sisters in the same family because they don't have the same genes. It's the single measure that combines their risk at hundreds, thousands, possibly even millions of genetic variants across the genome and combines those together into a single number that measures their risk of developing the disorder. Most of the disorders that are a real burden on society, whether that's a burden for the patient, a burden for the economy, a burden for the healthcare, are polygenic in nature. Whether we're talking about depression, rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes, um, all those polygenic risk scores can have a role. And so having polygenic risk scores at baseline may give us some prognostic information that might be useful in managing that patient. If you can tell someone ahead of time that they're at high risk of osteoporosis or high risk of cardiovascular disease, then there's behaviours that that individual can then perform that should be able to mitigate the risk of that disease in the future.